What's going on guys, Kane Jello back with a new series on this game <laughs> called Soccer Agent. Um, from the pictures it looks to be a um, visual novel type dating simulator thing. <laughs> so let's just, let's just get right into it. See, I feel a foot prodding me as I lie in bed. Is that arrow keys? How the fuck do I go to the next one? Uh, I just click, okay. Disgruntled, I turn over, trying my best to ignore it. However, the prodding does not stop. Oh god. <laughs> I slowly open my eyes to see who is disturbing my sleep. Oh shit. Jesus Christ, that's loud. That is so loud. Oh my god, wait. Preferences. Jesus. Okay, we'll turn it down like here. Hopefully that's good. <laughs> I just had to turn down the sound. It was so bad. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's good. Actually, let's just turn it down a little bit more. Okay, so... Come on, Akira. Am I Kimiko? Or is that someone else? No, that's that's Kimiko, and she's... Okay, okay, I get it. Get up! Now! <laughs> alright, alright. I let out a loud yawn and slowly stretch myself out. The knots of muscle in my shoulder unwind slowly what does my cute assistant want today jesus christ she's an assistant holy fuck look at what she's wearing <laughs> look at what she's wearing holy crap it's not me they want to see you at hq today okay hq does hey wait what hq does hey that doesn't i don't i'm not, I'm not even gonna question it um it'll be a quick check on my current status due to a couple of incidents where I just so happened to get distracted by <laughs> what distracted by this outfit they had have had to assign someone to keep me on track oh god okay this is this is gonna be something that person was Kimiko it's hard to believe but we've been together for years really damn Hurry up, get dressed already. Alright. Hey, not in front of me. <laughs> Why not in front of you? <laughs> you Wanna see me get dressed? Probably like, it just boxers or something. But you're my assistant, right? You really are shameless. On the plus side, it's really fun to tease Kimiko. And she's quite attractive too, I must say. Oh, he, he knows what he's doing. Plump in all the right places. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> She'll give in to my charms one day, I'm sure. <laughs> You're adorable when you get angry like that. Oh, he's that kind of guy. Okay. We're that, we're that kind of guy. There you go again saying things like that. Anyways, what's for breakfast? I cooked it a long time ago. Why don't we prepare some more right now? Akira, we don't have time for that. There's always time to have something to eat. She walks out of the room for a moment. Kimiko? She comes back with a plate. You can have the burnt toast then. <laughs> this bitch got her tongue out and shit. Put that tongue back in your mouth or I'll do something with it. Two dark slabs which resemble charcoal more than food are presented before me. <laughs> oh god. Um, this should be enough for you to start the day. She said, I'm not eating charcoal. Well, this is the only thing which I have on such short notice. I like how she still has her fucking tongue out. Like, put that shit away. Unless you're gonna do something free with it, you're gonna put that shit away, I swear to god. <laughs> You mean, 
you burned your toast and you're giving me it? Well, you want to eat right now. So here's your food. <laughs> God damn it. Kibiko can be a little bit of a sad sadist or saddest when she wants to eat. I think she's... I'm not even gonna try. Um, alright. I take the plate from her and shovel the burnt toast into my mouth. <laughs> Oops, go back. Akira? Uh, Akira? You weren't actually supposed to eat it. <laughs> Ignoring her, I continue to chew on it. <laughs> she looks so concerned. Look at her face. She's like, what the fuck? With great effort, I managed to swallow it. Nice job. We're eating fucking charcoal toast. Not the worst meal I've had, actually. You really are something else, Akira. Maybe I'll try I'll try and do different voices for each character. So my voice, I'll just do my regular voice and then her voice I'll try and do <laughs> like a higher voice. Okay. One more thing. Like that. Wait, oh fuck, I can't read. One more thing like that, and I really am going to register a complaint. Oh my gosh, okay, I get it. While a complaint would really be a problem for me. Oh wait. I'm <laughs> Doing the wrong voice for the wrong character. If you're forgetting the red text, it's her. Uh, she never actually seems to go through with it. When she actually does, it will probably be... Probably catch me completely off guard. Hey, I'm an agent, aren't I? Wait. Say, aren't it? I'm an agent, aren't it? Ah, uh, whatever. What's the little burnt toast compared to the things we face every day together? She just shakes her head. Okay. Well, you better hurry up then. Or I'm leaving without you. You better not leave without me, motherfucker. I swear to God. <laughs> but you would leave without me. Wait, but you would leave without me? You have to bring me along if you want to begin your report. <laughs> Kimiko just shakes her head. Just hurry up. Oh, okay. We cut to the street. We got pasta, noir, jewels, I don't know, pachi, pachinko, ex, -bli ex billiards, dope. It's failure, it's a failure, aha, I really can't speak. It's a fairly long walk to H. Hook from where we are. I like to take my time too. Much to Timiko's regret. <laughs> oh my god, I literally can't speak English. Much to Kimiko's regret. She practically drags me- oh, Jesus fucking Christ, man! She's practically dragging me towards it. Come on, hurry up! We're going to be running late! I'll try and read this like- I process it through my mind before I speak it. Because I fucking can't say it fast. Like, I'm trying to go through this fast, but it's not working. I don't really mind if we do. Oh, I'm doing the wrong voice again, goddammit. I'm Akira. She's Kimiko. Okay. That's the kind of attitude that landed you and me in this mess. Am I really so much of a burden? I just give a shrug. Oh well. Like it or not, this is me. Well, you can always work on improving your flaws as a person. It's very important, Akira. Alright. Alright. I'll do that later, maybe. <laughs> he said fucking maybe. That's a no. Procrastination is another flaw you need to work on. I'll do it eventually. She just sighs. Maybe I should change- Oh, fuck no. I thought she was talking. Maybe I should change the, to the topic. So has there been any major cons incursions? Oh, there's incursions lately. Lately? Uh, none reported yet. It's been an unusually quiet week. Maybe they finally took the hint and stayed in whatever weird dimension they call home. Oh my god, I just did the voice of the fucking girl for the guy. Come on, I'm doing this wrong. Okay, here we go. <laughs> maybe they took, maybe they finally took the hint and stayed in whatever weird dimension they call home. I swear, I hate dealing with the extra dimensionals. Then why did you choose this job? 
Oh, she's sticking that goddamn tongue out again. I'm gonna have to do something. I'm gonna have to do something with that tongue and then maybe them tits. <laughs> you know, <laughs> pause. Okay, free trips around the world and the possibility of meeting many women. <laughs> Your face is getting perverted again. What? How the fuck do you make a perverted face? Okay, I'm not even gonna question it. Let's just keep going. Keep going. I know exactly what you're thinking. Tell me then. Why should I tell you when we already both know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one well, toast and tits, you know. <laughs> uh, Kimiko, while she obviously has been a bit of an obstruction to my little side of adventures, she's fun company to have around. When I'm not sneaking a glance at her thighs, oh shit! He's looking at them thighs, look at them. <laughs> oh man, he knows, he knows. No matter what way I hit on her, it's water off a duck's back. I have a good mind to put in a bad word for you. But you have a bad mind. <laughs> a dirty one, just like me. Oh shit, he's getting fucking... Oh, he's going there. Do not drag me down into the depths of your perversion. <laughs> your hands going, you better put your hands back where you put them, where you had them fall. Ha ha ha. Try and stop me. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. I've never played one of these, so this, this is just fun. This is just fun to do. She gets all pooty. Poo pooty? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. She gets all pouty at me. You're getting a formal complaint from me. Okay, okay, I'll reel it in. Unfortunately, I'm not... I'm on a tight leash at the moment. Kibuko seems too tolerant. Too tolerate. Most of my teasing. Oh, she seems to tolerate... Oh my god, I really can't, like, read certain things, I swear. To tolerate most of my teasing, but... I am actually worried that she might file a formal complaint about my behavior. My one saving grace is that I perform really well out in the field despite getting distracted fairly easy. Distracted like what? Them titties and thighs? Haha! <laughs> Pause. Uh, we should be arriving at HQ soon. Anyway. You remember the way, right? Of course I do. We pass through the shopping district that take, take a right past the park and enter through the back door of what appears to be an abandoned factory. Well, we gonna do some freaky in this bitch. Okay, change the scene. Abandoned factory? This doesn't look like no factory, this is some futuristic shit, what? As soon as we slip through the secret entrance, we hear alarms go off, going off. Hmm, there seems to be some commotion around here. There are people hurrying all over the place. Looks like we'll have to worry about your own, your interview later. There must be an incursion happening right now. Oh, that's with an exclamation point. If it's an incursion, there wouldn't be this many people panicking. Whatever this is, it appears to be on a much bigger scale. Let's head to the briefing room for now. God damn, her clothes are just fucking very distracting. Like, <laughs> if you're not looking here, you're looking there. And if you're not looking there, you're looking here. Them thighs. Agreed. Now that's not a good time to be silly then. This all sounds like it's fairly serious. Okay, cut to the briefing room. Arriving at the briefing room, I see multiple incursions on the city map. In fact, more and more po of them popping up right now. So many. No wonder it's been so quiet. Yeah. I cannot help but frown. More and more dots on the map appear as everyone looks up to on it. Keep this invasion a secret is going keeping this invasion a secret is going to be pretty hard. An announcer voice. How should I do this? There are invasions at these locations. The species is an enti is a entangler class entity. Oh no. 
not space squids again. Oh god, what really? The tentacles? Are we going? Are we going there with this outfit and tentacles? Come on, you already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> They're like a ball of tentacles, which mol which molest any girl unfortunate enough to get near them. I fucking called it. I didn't even read it. I just fucking put the shits together. Okay. <laughs> Nasty little things. Well, I'd let it happen. I just sit back and watch. <laughs> you know, maybe save her after. Maybe join in. You never know. Could have fucking menage a trois. No. <laughs> Quite frankly, you should at least buy a girl dinner f before you get to stuff like that. I know he has a point. He has a point. Very good point. So I guess we had better go out and deal with these incursions. Well, someone has. Well, someone has to do it. I'm trying to like keep these voices consistent. Kimiko looks determined today. All right. This is peak hour, but we've managed to evacuate everyone from here. Entanglers usually come out at night, so this is the only time we will be able to hunt them down. Am I actually gonna have to do something, or they just do it on their own? I take a moment to check my gun. It should be a high enough caliber to put these damn squids to rest. You know, I, mean, I don't know, man. Yeah, is it a high enough caliber? Maybe you should check again. Are you ready, Kamoko? Ready. Ready. Fuck, I'm like trying to do this. I keep forgetting, like, when she's talking, I have to do, like, a girl voice. Fuck. Ready. <laughs> I just hit the mic. <laughs> ready. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, these little, these slippery little creatures don't usually come out of their hiding places. Unless they see a woman. Okay, we're gonna have to use her as bait. So for better or worse, we have to use Kumoko as bait. Oh no! I think we're about to get something juicy, okay. So, sorry about this. The mere idea of having those squids touch you is disgu disgusting to me. It's okay, Akira. I knew full well what I would have to go through when I joined the agency. So don't worry. We'll lure the them out with no trouble at all. I think she's gonna get fucking caught and she's gonna get like fucked. Like straight up. <laughs> I can only hope we do. Oh wait. I just did it the wrong voice. This is supposed to be the fucking regular voice. Okay. I can only hope we do. So I I know you hate entanglers. But we have to do our best today, okay? I know, I know. While I dispose of these things my, by myself without much trouble. It's kind of nice to have an assistant to help out with it. Alright, are you ready? She nods with determination. All slow, all so slowly she walks out into the open. Oh god, here we go. Okay. For a few minutes, nothing seems to change. It's eerily quiet. Uh oh. Kimoko? Do you see anything? I call her over the comms. Weird. Normally they would have come out by now. Something isn't right. She looks around her. You're right. This doesn't feel like we're the one setting the trap. Rather, we're the ones being lured into a trap. That's exactly it. Maybe you should try enticing them with, di with a different dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I'm not gonna do something like that here. No one's watching. Fine. If I know what dress she would put on, it would be that one. Done. You really are getting better at, with that ability of yours. Please be quiet. It's always such a nervous wait when we do this. But the fact that none of them appear have appeared makes me even more nervous. Ner I said nervous. Lol. <laughs> the last thing I need for is for my partner to be molested by one of these space squids. I can't see shit. It's literally just looking at this fucking road. Still, if you're not feeling safe, retreat back to cover and we'll work out another plan. She begins to slowly back off away from the open street. Bit by bit, tension in the air begins to build. You could slice it with a knife. Oh shit. I hear the sound of something squishing with a pop out of something. Uh oh. Damn, it's an entangler! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I can do the girl scream. 
Kimoko's voice comes over the comms. Kimoko! Oh, Kimiko. I can do I'm saying Kimoko. It's Kimiko. Well, goddamn. I rush out to see what's going on. Oh, here's the visual. Oh, shit. What the hell? He's got a holographic gun. Oh, look at her clothes. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> you ruined my clothes. You ruined my clothes. Ruined is uh, hardly the word I'd use to describe it. In fact, it might just be an improvement. Those really are some cute panties. Holy shit. <laughs> She's wearing... <laughs> And I love the way that the torn material exposes her chest more. Yes, this is an absolute perfect addition to her dress. Still though, it was an entangler that did it. That ruins it. A deep frown forms on her face as I see something begin to materialize in her hand. Uh oh. It's her gun. She begins opening fire at the on the entangler. It quickly dissolves underneath the barrage of white hot projectiles I jump in and watch her back there's more of them coming this way got it together the two of us stand back to back firing as more and more entanglers begin to emerge from the shadows whoever shoots more of them has to shout lunch tomorrow as if I'm going to lose to you Kimoko may seem sweet and innocent enough once she gets her blood up, she's a devil in a shootout. What the fuck? We don't stop. We keep moving and shooting. Okay. Damn, squids are everywhere. How could there be so many of them appearing at once? I guess it doesn't really matter now. The important thing is to dispose all of the all of these damn creatures. I've gotten about seven of them so far. Really? I'm on ten. You're such a liar. I just shrugged. We could do the counting after we're done here. I don't know where these entanglers are coming, come from, nor why they only target girls. But the last thing I want is to lose na this nasty thing is touching any woman on my world. So I will hunt every single one of them to the ends of the earth. Bit by bit, their numbers will begin to dwindle. Even though they're repulsive creatures, I know they aren't stupid. They are probably hiding away after seeing their comrades fall in such large numbers. I turn to look at Kimiko. After for a moment. I like your panties, by the way. Why do you have to say something like that now? <laughs> she gets a little flustered. So I could win our bet. Akira. You're going to... You're going to get a formal complaint. Sure, I will. And we've cleaned up the incursion for the most part. Okay, um, I'm gonna save it here. I think we've gone far enough. Yeah, that's good. So that's that's saved. Okay. So. If you guys, uh, oops. If you guys enjoyed that, uh, give it a thumbs up. And, uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Why not? This is gonna be a series throughout the whole game. I'm gonna try and play the whole thing. Um, this will be fun because this is only the first episode and we got to see fucking panties and partial titties, you know? And there's a lot of sexual stuff in this. This is fun. This is fun. I've never played any of this kind of game, so I'm gonna have fun with this. If you guys, if you guys uh, feel like it, drop a comment, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.